The GDNT Advisor application by Sigmetrics, first integrated into Creo Parametric 4.0, enables you to define GDNT or GPS annotations with the utmost speed and accuracy. Until now, the user had to author the annotations using GDNT Advisor's interface as seen here. With the release of Creo 4.0 M40, there is an additional optional capability to provide the same level of validation on your legacy annotations created using the native Creo annotation tools in Creo 2.0 or later. Here's an example with several annotations created within Creo Parametric 3.0. There are issues with all the GDNT definitions, some of which are not clear even to the most knowledgeable expert. Datum A is defined on the datum plane feature not the surface of the part that will be used to define datum A. Datum feature A has form control. The perpendicularity tolerance on datum feature B is missing a diameter symbol. Despite the 3x callout, the actual annotation is only associated with one of the three holes. The second tier of the composite FCF doesn't control anything. It only adds confusion. Symmetry is not applicable for the slot with the current definitions of datums A and B. Impossible to verify concentricity requirement on part of OD opposite slot. MMC and MMB not applicable for symmetry and concentricity. When started, GDNT Advisor provides you the option of either deleting all existing annotations or validating everything that has been previously defined. Selecting Validate All enables the same level of review and feedback as if they had originally been defined with the GDNT Advisor interface. We'll address each of the issues in the order presented in the Advisor, but before getting started, note that several of the problems previously identified have been already corrected. The perpendicularity tolerance on datum feature B is missing a diameter symbol. Despite the 3x callout, the actual annotation is only associated with one of the three holes. The second tier of the composite FCF doesn't control anything. It only adds confusion. The first message indicates that datum A isn't correctly referencing the surface of the part. Using the right mouse button on the feature in the tree lets you edit the definition and select the feature establishing datum A. After accepting the change, the first message now indicates that the form of datum feature A isn't being controlled. So once again, edit the definition to add the appropriate form control flatness, as suggested by GDNT Advisor for the planar surface. Continuing to work through this list, we now see that there are two issues with the symmetry control applied to the slot, one indicating that the symbol isn't appropriate for the feature and DRF combination, and a second indicating errors in the syntax caused using MMC and MMB for symmetry. Editing this definition shows that GDNT Advisor recommends position for controlling this feature to the established A, B, D, R, F, so we'll choose this and add the MMC modifier included in the original definition. Lastly, we'll see that application of concentricity to the larger diameter opposite the slot cannot be checked for concentricity, and both MMC and MMB modifiers, again, aren't applicable to concentricity. Per the recommendation, we'll choose position at MMC again. Also, notice that GDNT Advisor drops datum C from the DRF as it isn't required for defining the position of the diameter. We'll finish the part by applying a general profile note that controls the surface not referenced by any annotations. The enhancements the GDNT Advisor and Creo Parametric 4.0 M40 allow you to reuse the accurate parts of your legacy GDNT annotations while highlighting errors that they may have and providing recommendations on how to best resolve the problems uncovered.